to you who quietly said, nice pants, thank you. <laughs> to those of you who were thinking it, I heard you. And those who didn't say it, these pants are awesome. Okay, okay. <laughs> well, not after the Tower of Power, of course. <laughs> That was, that, you may have noticed, we, we've already started the show, but you may have noticed that was in no way subtle. <laughs> That's sort of how my whole life works. There's nothing subtle about it. I thought I had an opportunity to be subtle. I did. I thought I had this, this great moment where I was gonna, I was gonna be nonchalant. I failed. Can I tell you about it? Okay, so last Thursday, last Thursday we have a little thing we do called the Clown Gym. Because you can't be carny strong unless you go to the clown gym. Right, it makes perfect sense if you're, well, if you're a clown. And you know, it's one part improv and one part cardio and one part standing on your head. It's just like any other gym. Sure. And so I'm there with my friends and we're, we're just doing what we do. You know, we've, we've put up a perimeter on the second floor of Valley View Mall. We have people standing on their heads, people juggling, and me, like some brave idiot in the middle of all of it, combining two things that should not be combined, unicycling and juggling. Because I figure one thing that requires your whole concentration and one thing that requires your whole concentration or you're gonna die should be put together to see what will happen. So I decided I'm gonna try to learn this. I am as of now unscathed but not very good at it. So I'm there, I'm doing my thing. There's a dozen of my friends, there's jazz music blasting off into the distance. I'm having a pretty good day, that's a pretty nice day. And then I, I turn the corner and there's my ex-wife. <laughs> Thank you, weird Foley de deity. That's what demons, depending on how the story goes. No, okay, so I, you know, at one point, had a wife, didn't keep her, lucky me, lucky her, truth be told. So I see her, she sees me, I see her, and I figure, well, I should be nonchalant about this. I'm not saying we're enemies, but we're not friends. I really don't you know, have anything here. And I realize, oh, she's not here to see me, there are these incredible art galleries, galleries at Midtown where the clown gym takes place. She's here to see the gallery. She's a very talented artist, good on her. So she's having her cultural experience and she walks on by and I smile and nod and she doesn't look at me. And I think to myself, all right, that's how you wanna play it. And I go back to what I'm doing. I'm riding my unicycle, I'm juggling, I'm having a good time, trying to make the best of my evening. And she cruises by again. So a bunch of us decide to wave. Hi, how's it going? Nothing. All right, now it's awkward, you know, because we're there standing on our heads, juggling, unicycling, jazz music, blasting 25 feet of rope surrounding us, keeping us safe from normal people, and there she goes walking by. So I figured the thing to do is to try to interact a little. Bite the bullet, be a good guy, jump on the unicycle, ride out up to her. And she smiles and nods. And I suddenly realize she has no idea who I am. I go back to my friends and they're like, you're being very daft, what's going on? I explain what's going on, they say congratulations, and I suddenly, I had this realization. This was as close as I was ever gonna get to being subtle. Riding on a unicycle in the middle of a mall, all of this going on, that's a pretty cool realization that that's my new life. But the bigger, the bigger realization, the one that matters, was finding out that, you know, around here we got this nice point seven, do not keep score. Because, you know, you get competitive and you get ugly and you get petty. You don't want that. But milestones are important, so we try to track those. But I'm not one of those people who looks back at the beginning and goes, how's it been? This was someone who knew me before I started this journey. And I had transformed so much that I had become unrecognizable. If ever there was a validation to be had, <laughs> riding on a unicycle nonchalantly through them all, that was it. I know everyone here is on different journeys. One of the things about this place that's magical is we've documented them. You see these guys over here? Wave. There you go. There you go. Oh, <laughs> and now you're blind like me. My revenge is complete. And, and do not blind Alicia, because our white balance will just go completely off. But we're on camera. We document this process in a performer's growth. So you can look back at the beginning, and guess what? There's videos of me from the first night. They are not good. There are many performers who have, who have gone to big things. Some of them are here tonight. 
Some of them will be here in the future. But most of all, we can see the arc of what they've done. And the truth is, without that process, without the chance to document everything, guess what? We would never know how far they've come. I'm so glad we have this place, and I'm so glad I get to share it with you every week. We call it the open stage. Welcome. Yeah.